It's time for TT. It's TT time. It's time for TT. It's TT time. We're gonna learn. We're gonna sing. We're gonna talk about a lot of things. It's time for TT. It's TT time. It's time for TT. It's TT time. January, February, March, April, and May. These are just a few of the months that we'll learn today. June, July, August, September, October, and November. The last month is called December. 365 days. Every month has holidays celebrated different ways across the world, around the states in 365 days. January, February, March, April, and May. These are just a few of the months that we'll learn today. June, July, August, September, October, and November. The last month is called December. 365 days. 12 months total is 52 weeks. 365 or less the year leaves. Then February has one more day. 366 days. January, February, March, April, and May. These are just a few of the months that we'll learn today. June, July, August, September, October, and November. The last month is called December. 365 days. Hello, everyone. It's TT time. I'm TT, and I'm so glad that you're here to spend time with me. Today's episode is a serious one. It is talking about the importance of treating people nicely even when they look different than you. People have so many differences. Their hair is different, their eyes are different, their skin is different, and these differences are beautiful and special. These differences should never be made fun of. These differences should not be a reason to treat people poorly. Sometimes some people struggle with treating people nicely if they don't look the same. And hopefully they will learn to treat people nicer as time passes and they meet more people. In today's story, there are three cousins, Hayden, Brayden, and Jaden, who experience what it is like when people treat you differently because of the way you look. And now it is time for TT Tales. Since Hayden had been homeschooled for the first eight years of his life, he was so excited when his family told him that he could go to school. On his first day, his dad walked him to school since it was just a few minutes up the road. Hayden was surprised to find his cousins, Brayden and Jaden, waiting for him. Their dads took a picture of the boys before leaving for work. None of the boys had been to school before, so they were thrilled to start fourth grade together. The boys arrived early and were given a tour by Principal Johnson. She showed them around the campus and escorted them to class. We are so glad to have you here. Welcome to Adams and Adams Elementary. Their teacher's name was Mr. Evans. He was very nice and he was excited to meet his new students. Everything was going well until it was time for recess. Hayden, Brayden, and Jaden walked over to a group of boys on the swings. Hey, do you want to play with us? The cousins asked. He can play with us if he wants to, but we won't play with the two of you. The boys pointed at Hayden before leaving the swings. 
Hayden refused to leave his cousins in order to play with the other boys. Brayden and Jaden saw another group of boys playing near the basketball court. They walked over with Hayden, but as soon as they did, the boys pointed at Hayden and Brayden. They looked at Jaden and said, you can play with us, but we won't play with those two. Brayden was very sad. He started to cry because he knew what was happening. What's wrong? His cousins asked. They are not playing with us because of the way we look. It's because of our skin. Maybe it's because of our eyes. Hayden tried to reassure Brayden. No, I think he's right. They do not like our skin. But why? It's the only skin we have. Mr. Evans went to check on the boys because he knew something was wrong. Why are you crying? The other kids won't play with us because of the color of our skin. Mr. Evans was shocked. He knew the situation had to be handled immediately. Mr. Evans took his class back to the classroom. He spoke to them about differences in backgrounds and colors. He told them a few stories about his experiences because of his color. The entire class apologized to the boys for mistreating them. From that day on, Hayden, Brayden, and Jaden looked forward to school and spending time with their new friends. Although the boys knew that their color might be an issue later, they also knew that they wouldn't have to face the issue alone. Hello everyone, it's time for today's topic with TT. Hayden, Brayden, and Jaden are cousins. They are excited to attend school for the first time. Their day is going well until recess. The other kids do not want to play with the boys because of their appearances. Why is that a sad choice? Exactly. Mistreating people because of their skin color is wrong. How would you feel if someone did that to you? That's true. You might feel sad, scared, confused, hurt, or angry. Everyone has a different appearance. We are all different colors. We have different hair types and styles. Our eyes are different colors and they have different shapes. Our differences are special. They are beautiful. That is what Hayden, Brayden, and Jaden's classmates learned. We can learn a few things from this story too. We can learn to treat people nicely regardless of their appearances. We can learn that differences are beautiful. And we can learn that it is never okay to exclude people because of the color of their skin. I appreciate you watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for hanging out with TT. And now 
it's time for TT Tell Us. Hayden has albinism. Albinism is caused by a lack of pigment in his eyes, skin, and hair. Hayden is beautiful the way he is. Brayden has vitiligo. Vitiligo is a loss of skin pigment that causes white patches and spots on his skin. Vitiligo is not contagious. Brayden is beautiful just the way he is. Jaden has melanism. Melanism is an increase in the pigmentation in his skin. Jaden also has heterochromia, which causes his eyes to be two different colors. Jaden is beautiful just the way he is. And you are beautiful just the way you are. of hair colors that are also beautiful and there are so many different skin colors that are also beautiful we get to be beautiful combinations of all these different things and it is wonderful but sometimes people do not see the beauty in the wonderful just like when Hayden Jaden and Brayden went to school for the first day the first group of kids would only play with Hayden. The second group of kids would only play with Jaden, but neither group would play with Brayden. Brayden became very sad and he began to cry. When his cousins asked him what was wrong, Brayden explained that the other kids did not want to play with them because of the way they looked. His cousins immediately realized that that was true. When they spoke with Mr. Evans, he was very concerned because he had experienced mistreatment before because of the way he looked. He talked to the class and the class understood that those choices were sad choices and they decided to treat the boys differently. They decided to treat them better. The way that someone looks is never a reason to mistreat them. We are all made the way we are made, and we are all made to be beautiful. All of our differences are beautiful. So never forget that. I really appreciate you spending time with me. Thank you so much for watching, and thanks for hanging out with TT.